The show is full of birthday surprises and great prices and fantastic easy pay. We have one day only values coming up, but right now, how about our maximum easy pay and free shipping on something that is not just going to make your television sound louder, it's going to make it sound clearer, okay? Have you ever been in a room where someone says, I'm sorry, what did they say? Can you turn up the volume? Well, if you turn up the volume on bad sound, you just get louder bad sound. Why don't we improve the quality of the sound and do it with our friends from Bose? Let's welcome in Brett Hamilton. Good to have hey you back, there. sir. Hello, hello, nice everybody. Nice to see you as always. Here we are. What was that you said? What? What? I like that. Louder, bad sound. Yeah. That you know what it is? It, when you turn up bad sound, you're just getting louder, bad sound. You're amplifying the problem. Exactly. Right. So nobody wants to amplify bad. You want to make it good. And to David's point, we need to be able to hear what we're watching, right? If you're watching it and then all of a sudden you can't understand the dialogue, that's a problem. Go to the movie theater and you can't understand the movie. What do you do? Everybody complains and walks out. Same should apply to your home. Now, why is that an issue with our televisions? Because the TVs are thin, the TVs look great, but because they're so thin, there's no place to put any audio. Right. Speakers are either buried in the back or they're down below. So what if, what if with one button, with one wire, you could Go from listening to your TV speakers that are okay to Bose, and you'll see and hear what I mean. Watch. This is just TV sound. I learned to ignore the whispers, the lingering glances. Okay. <laughs> this is your TV speakers. At least I could carry Check this out. Work in peace. They knew not to ask questions. What do you notice immediately, aside from me talking over top of this? You can understand what she's saying. When it gets quiet. There is a reason. But you're hearing all the details as well. And just like that, it's time again. Just like that, we're back to the TV. What happened to the low end? What happened to the bottom? What happened to her voice? Phones ringing, plates clashing, crashing. Time. TV speakers, blah, bows. Now, for dynamic. Those, and for those of you at home going, they just turned up the volume. That's not true. What we did is we enhanced the audio. Back to David's original point. You can turn your speakers up as loud as you want on your television. And if you can't understand what they're saying, that actually compounds the problem. That makes the problem worse. It doesn't make it better. So Bose, with one single cable, and I kid you not, this cable will connect to the back of your TV and to the back of the Bose, and that's it. You're going to plug it into the wall, so there's two cables, I lied. But once this is done, you're never ever going to use your TV speakers again, meaning you're going to turn them down, and you will turn this up and down with the universal remote that we give you. And that's it, David. I wish there was some sort of magic trick. I wish they said that now you got to screw a bunch of holes in the wall and hang the speakers and drill this, and, and no. Nope. All you have to do is two plug plugs. it in. Two plugs. Two plugs. We give you the remote control. You're in business. Now, I need to let you know that this is the first day this year we put this on six pay. I also should let you know that we don't have an awful lot of these to go around. I have fewer than 700 now to go around, and this is six easy payments. That easy pay is extraordinary. Free shipping is amazing. Brett's going to show you here how easy this is to set up because it's literally two cables. Yeah, out of the box, this is what it's gonna look like. And out of the box, you're gonna find two cables. One is a power cord. We plug in power cords every single day, your hair dryer, a blender, whatever it might be. It plugs in where it says power. You can't miss. It's labeled power. You plug this into that. You plug this into the wall. The other cable, you can't miss either. It says optical. This is the optical cable that's included. It will only fit in that port that says optical, and guess what? Whether you know it or not, on the back of your television right now, there is a port for optical input. That means this is now digital audio. You remember back the days when we had our VCRs and you had your red, your white, and your yellow cables? The red and the white cables, that was your audio. That's been replaced by optical and HDMI in many cases. So, once this plugs in to the back of your Bose and the back of your television, that's it. That's your hookup, that's your install, then you turn it around and you place it under the TV, next to the TV, on the wall, wherever you want, and now you have Bose audio instead of listening to 
the TV speakers, which nobody seems to understand. And right before we talk, start this back up, sure. let me just tell you real quickly that another 50 have just gone out the door. I want to let you know also, summer is now officially beginning tomorrow. Tomorrow. And you're going to be having movie night. You're going to be watching those great competition shows where they sing and do great acts on television. Wouldn't you love to be able to hear that sound the way it was intended? Wouldn't you love to be able to hear the highest highs and the lowest lows and never lose the audio or the voices? Because at home, if you just turn up the, the volume on bad sound, you just get louder bad sound. When you add the bow solo, you improve the sound. You make it clearer. You make it easier to understand, and now the whole thing becomes theatrical, right? And we're doing it tonight on free shipping and our most maximum easy pay, six on any credit card you use. We don't have a lot of these to go around. Why not approach the summer season with better, more clear sound where every voice is understandable and recognizable. Yeah, and let's face it, it costs a small fortune to go to the movies now. You take the entire family, the movie tickets, the snacks, and all that stuff. So many of us now, with all the streaming services, watching Amazon Prime and Netflix and Hulu and your network TV, but that experience is not the same as a movie theater until you introduce something like this. And the cool part is, because you have the ability to do this with one cable, there's no tech involved, and that's always nice to hear when it comes to electronics. TV sound first, and then you'll hear the Bose difference. Check this out. Not bad. Much better. my work in peace. They knew not to ask questions. In fact, close your eyes for the next 20 seconds and just listen. You'll know the difference between the TV speakers and the Bose. When it gets quiet, there is a reason. That's back to the TV as if I needed to tell you that. All of that definition, all of that detail, all of those effects are gone. To leave at first. Now they're back. I got used to it. I understand. In time, they will too. What do you do if you walk into a diner and there's a lady with a, a briefcase handcuffed to her and she's wearing Get up mask. and get out. You take your order to go. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Okay. I don't even think I would take it to go. I just get out. <laughs> hey, can I tell you, we started the show with 700 of these. We now have fewer. I beg your pardon, 800. We now have fewer than 500 to go around. That means 300 of these have marched out the door. All right. Now, a lot of people are asking, Brett, can I mount this to the wall? Yeah, you can. Okay, and the other question is, do I have to put the television on top of this? You don't put the TV on top of it. Where do I put the speaker in relationship to the TV? Exactly, and that's up to you guys. So in this case, we've got a TV that's sitting directly behind the speaker. You don't have to mount the TV. You don't have to mount can the speaker. Can it go vertical? It can go anywhere you want. Now, horizontal? I, I would recommend horizontal simply because of the way that it's constructed. But if you had to, you could put it over there. You could put it above the TV. You could put it on a shelf, in the armor, wherever it might and, be. And you can mount it to the wall. Does it come with the hardware for that? Uh, it does not come with the hardware for that. But, but that it does can be come with up. the brackets or it the comes, openings. It on comes with the openings, yeah. And then you, then you would put it up on the wall with a, a generic bracket. Something else before I forget, which is a nice little bonus. David was talking about the fact that we have difficulty, no matter what our age, understanding uh, the dialogue, right? You watch a... Uh, I don't know, a movie with a lot of sound effects, the explosions, the helicopters and all that stuff, and you wind up rewinding, turning the volume up and hoping you can hear over top of all that. Well, Bose did something that I've never seen before in a TV speaker, and they give you the option to hit this little sound, uh, this little bubble, this looks like a little thought bubble in a cartoon. That is your dialogue button. That will enhance what's known as the mid-range. What is mid-range? Well, the bass is the low end. The high end is the treble. Our voices sit in the mid-range. So you're telling me if I'm sitting and watching television and I'm having a little trouble understanding the voices, yep. I press this button and they get clearer? That's the magic button. Yep, as if it doesn't... Hold that still right there. Sure. I want everybody to understand, with the touch of one button, that button you right now there. made the voices more clear and easier to understand. And guess what? This remote that Brett is holding with that magic button is included in your purchase. Now, I know all of you are looking at this and saying, okay, David, this sounds awfully techy, and I'm going to get this home and not know where to begin to how, right. to, how, to, how to plug this in. If you can plug in two plugs... You're in business. Yeah, and one of them is the power cord. So that is a no-brainer. For the rest of you going, it's technology. I know you tell me it's going to be easy. I don't believe you. Believe me, because this is it. This plugs into the back of the TV. This plugs into the back of the Bose. They're both marked optical. You can't miss. These won't fit on any other inputs. Now, 
On top of everything that we've shown you, the fact that you're going to be able to hear what they're saying, everything's going to be cleaner. Check this out. Not only is this a television speaker, this is also a Bluetooth speaker. So this is like getting the best of both worlds. You're getting a Bose sound system for your TV and you're getting a Bose sound system for your phone, your tablet, your computer. On this remote control, at the very top, you're going to see a familiar symbol. For anybody that's ever played Bluetooth. around with Bluetooth, there it is. You tap that button one time, the speaker becomes what's called discoverable, and then it sends a signal out that you can capture with your phone, with your tablet, so with I your computer. So I can play dinner party music through this? Yep. I can play my favorite playlist from my phone or my sure MP3 can. player through this as long as it's Bluetooth enabled. Let me tell you, we started with 800 of these. I now have fewer than 350 to go around. This is going very, very quickly. It's on six pay. It's on free shipping. You should know this is the very first day for the entire year of 2019 we put this on six pay. Yep. So this is your opportunity tonight to, with two wires, improve the quality of your television sound. Yep. That, uh, that one's a great one to show. Can we show this yeah. one? Yeah, sure. So we can go inside here and play just about anything we want because the ability to be able to listen to your music is now, an extra. First of all, this is just the TV sound. Let's listen to this for a moment. To the naked ear, it sounds fine. Okay. It doesn't sound like this. Wait till that low end kicks in. Wait till the bass takes over. And then you understand, just with the strings alone, what a difference it makes. Listen to that. Wow. TV speaker. Bottom end is gone. The bass is gone. Bose. And if that's not crazy enough, go ahead, David. I'm sorry. We're talking about turning your home television experience into a theater experience. Yeah. You know what? We're doing more staycating than we ever have before. It's expensive to go away on vacation. A lot of us are staying home when we take that week off in the summertime. So the television becomes the focal point of your entertainment, right? So why not make that sound the best it can be? There's a reason why the sound sounds so good at the movie theater. Because they've got those big, bold speakers and those great amplifiers. And they've got all those great systems that clarify the audio. Remember that one button, the little dialogue button that you press? Suddenly, if you were listening to my voice, you'd be able to hear it a little more clearly, more succinctly, more understandably. This is what this is all about. And this comes from a company that's been in business for an almost 55 years. Bose and I share a birth year. Yep. 1964. So this year, both Bose and I will turn double nickels. All right? So this is what it's all about. Don't miss out on this. We're now limited quantities, Brady. Okay. We brought in 800 of these for the show. I have fewer than 100 left. Ooh. Show us one more demonstration here, sir, yeah. before we wrap up. I got to go back to this diner because the bottom line is when you watch TV and you can't understand what's going on, you might as well turn off the TV. Listen to the TV speakers first. Watch when it switches over. I'm going to shut up. I to recognize me. I learned to ignore the whispers, the lingering glances. At least I could carry out my work in peace. They knew not to ask questions. What? What? When it gets quiet, there is a reason. And just like that. Hey, you know what happened? This just sold out. All right. See there? All gone. Um, we're going to work on bringing this back in.